TPO chart panel. This panel allows you to build classic market profiles and analyze the distribution of market activity within them. But first things first, to enable the panel, go to the analytics group in the main menu of the terminal and click on the TPO icon. The default settings for the TPO chart panel are predefined to build a market profile for one day aggregation based on 30 minute bars. The main part of the panel is a set of aggregated profiles, each of which describes market activity for a specified period of time. On each profile, the prices of open and close are displayed in the form of white triangles. The vertical bar on the left side shows us to understand the direction of the profile as well as its range. In other words, it's a body of the aggregated bar. The areas above and below the body are the wicks of the profile. Now each profile has a point of control as well as one or multiple single lines in the form of white, solid, and dashed lines. The point of control line is the profile level at which there was the greatest market activity. Otherwise, single levels are opposite the area where the market activity was the smallest. The most dense section of the market activity distribution, 70% by default, is called the value area and is presented as a brighter area of the profile. Now you can see in the underlying chart representing the price chart of the selected asset. You can interact with each profile presented on the chart. To do this, select the profile by left clicking on it. The selected profile is highlighted with a dotted rectangle around it. At the bottom of the profile you can see two buttons split and POC ray. POC meaning the point of control. When you click on the split button, the profile will be decomposed into the set of bars included in it. A toggled click will combine profile back to its general state. Now in turn, when you click on the point of control ray button for the selected profile, the point of control level will be extended to the right border of the chart. Such behavior is very convenient since it allows you to use this level as a resistance support zone even if the selected profile is out of the visibility range of the chart. When you right click on a profile, we'll open a context menu. The context menu duplicates the behavior of the split and the point of control ray, but also contains very interesting items. When you click on the merge left button, the selected profile will be merged with the nearest profile on the left, and in turn, Merge Right does the same, but combines the profile with its right neighbor. The Divide at Bar button allows you to split the selected profile into two at the bar that the cursor hovers on, which is extremely convenient since, for example, you can split your daily profile into multiple session profiles and so on. When you click on the Reset All button, the TPO chart will be restored into its original state, canceling all operations of the merge or the split. Summary information of the interested profile can be obtained by hovering it with the cursor. In this case, the info window located at the upper left corner becomes active. Now let's take a look closer what it displays. The time field shows the start time of each profile. TPO means that the total number of boxes or letters inside the profile, VAH and VAL, show the upper and lower levels of the value area respectively. RF, or rotation factor, shows the general mood inside the profile. A positive value means that the market is growing, more than falling and vice versa. The higher the RF value, the stronger the market tended to grow. The last two parameters show the total value of volume and delta inside the profile. Let's move on to the TPO chart settings. 
All basic settings are collected on the toolbar of the panel in the form of three main blocks, the aggregation, style, and volume analysis. The aggregation settings block allows you to manage the profile configuration. The build from controls group determines which bars the profile will be built from. The available states are minute, hour, and day. And by default, the profile is always built from 30 minute bars. The profile aggregation control group allows you to directly set the aggregation of each profile. The default state is one day, which means that the TPO chart will use 30 minute bars to build a profile of one day each. The history range setting allows you to determine the depth of the loaded history. Now separately, we should consider the custom step setting. This setting allows you to determine the price step expressed in ticks, which will be used to aggregate the profiles. Now the TPO chart panel automatically selects this setting depending on the instrument and market structure, making the display of profiles the most convenient for perception. The style settings group allows you to control the appearance of profiles. The display control determines the profile display style and two states are possible, boxes and letters. The coloring mode setting allows you to select a color scheme for profiles. TPO profiles support a wide variety of coloring styles from simple single color schemes to schemes using volumes or deltas. The plot symbol setting determines the display style of the price chart of the selected instrument. The last block of settings for this group controls the visibility of the value area, the singles, and the point of control. Along with classic market profiles, you can also display volume profiles with any of the available data types. When you click on the settings button in any of the settings blocks, a general settings screen will be opened. I'd like to draw your attention to the possibility of managing asset session to build more accurate market profiles. To configure the session, go to the view group and activate the custom session checkbox. After that, you need to set the time frame for the session and the time zone of the exchange on which the instrument is traded. As a result of this configuration, the panel will be rebuilt excluding time outside the session for, just for convenience and the sections outside the session are highlighted in the chart as gray areas. The date of these sections will be ignored. And that's all for today.